Namaste. Today I will be guiding you the 30 minute vinyasa routine. Please do this if you are a uh, intermediate uh, practitioner. If you are a beginner, you need to practice with caution and listen to your body so you don't overdo the stretches um, and ensure that you're always being guided by your breath. So that you, um, you know, never hold the posture and retain the breath at the same time. Always make sure that your breath guides the movement. Um, take frequent breaks if you are exhausted. If you feel uh, something just doesn't uh, work for your body, uh, then please come down on the mat, relax, uh, and then join in when you feel ready. So we'll start with an opening mantra. We start with the Shanti mantra, peace mantra. Breathe in and breathe out. And let your body relax on the mat. Feeling the heaviness of your body and the grounding through the legs, through the feet if you're standing up. Feeling the elongation through the spine. Arriving in this moment gracefully, without any rush, without any urge to leave your place, stay here, be here. Om Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bhunatu, Sahavirya. Karavavahe Tejas Vina Bhavati Tamastu Mavidvi Shavahe Om Shanti 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 Exhale, release the hands to the thighs. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity just to remind you to the importance of warming up. I won't be doing any warm-ups today because I'd like to keep this video short. Uh, like I said, 30 minutes. Uh, and so, if you feel like you haven't warmed up properly, please pause, warm up, and then begin the video when you are fully warmed up. Okay, so let's begin standing up on the mat. Nice, tall spine. Take a deep breath in and take the arms up. With an exhale, bend forward, Adahastasana. As you breathe in, you draw the navel up. Elongate the spine, spread the shoulders out, and drop the head down, elongating through the whole back body. Inhale, lift the head up, straighten the spine, draw the navel in. Exhale, step back with the right leg, and drop that knee to the floor. Take an inhale, and lift yourself up. Reach with the fingertips, exhale, drop the hands down. From here, step back with the left leg, we come into plank pose and slowly roll down to the ground in Chaturanga. Inhale, press forward, lift the chest, untuck the toes. If you can, lift the knees off the floor. Toes in, exhale, come into down dog. Breathe five, one, two, Step back into a high plank posture and with an exhale lower down to Shadaranga. 
low plank. Inhale, push forward, lift the chest, roll the shoulders down the spine. Exhale, tuck the toes in, come up. Press up strongly here. Take your shoulders away from the front edge of the mat, towards the back edge. Lift your hips, draw the navel in. Reach down through the heels, spread the toes. Five breaths, two. Three. Four. Five. Head up. Heels lift. Step through with the left foot. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step through with the right foot. Find the hastasana, hand to foot pose. Inhale, come up. Engage your core, coming up. Again, reach up with the fingertips. Keep your body straight. Exhale, arms by the sides. Inhale, take the arms up. Go ahead and bend the knees. Keep the toes together. Keep the thighs together. So using your adductors to keeping the legs in, preventing the knees from splaying out. Bring your sit bones down. Pretend you're sitting on the stools, engaging the thighs. Working the back, lifting through the chest, stretching the back muscles. Two, three, Utkatasana, fierce pose or chair pose. Four, five. Inhale, lift the hips, exhale, bend forward. Padastasana, bending from the hip crease, swallow the belly. Inhale, lift the head up. Place the hands down, jump or step back to a plank. And lower down to a low plank with an exhale, bending the elbows, keeping the forearms perpendicular to the floor. Inhale, press your chest up. And exhale, toes tuck in, come back into down dog. One full breath. Next, we step forward with the left foot, inhale and come up, so you're going to spin the arms around, turn your hips to the side, bend the left knee, so you get that 90 degree angle in the knee, now exhale, lower the forearm onto the thigh, you can lower the hips so they're level with the knee, take the right arm up, Pajvakonasana or a variation of Pajvakonasana, and some of you might feel um, that they can reach deeper, so you go down and keep that arm up and over. And three breaths. Inhale, come up. Warrior two, hold one, two, so gaze left. Turn the foot in 45 degrees, turn the right to 90, bend, so keeping the knee above the ankle. Exhale, lay the forearm on top of the thigh. Inhale, reach up and over. You're gazing up or in front of you. Make sure you're breathing here, nice and deep. Inhale, come up to warrior two and hold. Five breaths, one, two, three, four, and five. Straighten the leg. Now both feet are turning in. Hands position on the waist. Inhale, lift through your chest, and as you exhale, you're going to bend from the hip crease. So first, send the head forward, elongate fully, try not to shift the hips forward. Bend, 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 so your spine is vertical, between the legs, hands to the floor, directly under the shoulders. Take a breath in, lift the head up, exhale. Go deeper, walk the hands back, elbows pointing behind you. Hold for five breaths.
five, inhale, head up halfway up, pause here, exhale, hands on the waist. Make sure you're firming your core to come up. Inhale and come all the way up. Now exhale, turn around to face the front of the mat, reach forward and lower the hands to the mat. Step back with the left leg, some more transition here, exhale, lower down, inhale, upward facing, and exhale to down facing dog. Well done, now hold it in, couple of breaths in down dog. Please step forward with the right foot and inhale to spin the arms and come up. Spin the arms to the sides. So your ideally wrists align with the ankles. Stretch the right foot, point the right toes out. Exhale, reach over the right leg, reach down with the hand, left arm extends up, reach with the fingertips. So feel the resistance here, we don't want to drop the weight down. We want to place the hand down, but we want to reach up, lift the chest, lift the whole torso up, keep your hips aligned with your spine and neck. Three. Go deeper if you like to, reach to the floor instead of the leg. And five, inhale, come up and spin around, turn the right foot in, left out. Inhale, reach to the side, stay over the left leg, exhale, drop down. Inhale, reach up, right fingertips. Deep breath, inhale. Turn to the right side, take both arms up. Exhale, bend forward from the hip crease. Bring your left hip forward, take your right hip back. Feel your legs are like two pillars. Very strong and sturdy. Exhale, reach down, left hand. Twist through the whole torso, reach up with the right hand. Twist at Trikonasana. Just three breaths here. Two. Three, inhale, bend the knee to come up. Turn around, exhale, reach forward. Keep that nice vertical and horizontal plane in the body, right hand down, twist, exhale, reach up for the left arm. Three breaths, one, two, three, inhale, come up. Now face the front of the mat, drop the hands down, step back into a high plank and lower into a chaturanga, inhale, lift, exhale, down dog, five breaths and down dog. Now this time reach deeper into the floor, so feel like your, the floor is pulling the heels towards it. The belly is drawn into the spine and the hips are lifting toward the ceiling. Keep the arms extending and the head in, looking back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, lower the knees to the ground. Separate the knees and stack the big toes. Reach back with the hips and surrender the spine. Bring the heart down to the floor. Gentle opening to the spine here. Keep stretching your upper body. Resting into the ground, feeling the breath. Releasing any residual tension in the body. Inhale, 
belly to self up, close the legs together, come down on the belly in prone position. A little warm up in Cobra here, we keep the feet together. Now the main thing with Cobra is that we're not using the arms, we're using the spinal muscles, so the hands really don't matter. They're just there for balance, but you don't have to use them. So with an inhale, you lift your chest up, and you feel like you're really utilizing those spinal muscles. Squeeze your glutes, firm the thighs. You can have the hands outside of the rib cage, just lightly pressing into the ground. Roll the shoulders back to get that full opening on the chest. Breathe five, four, three. So keep the shoulders rolled away from the ears. Two, and one, and exhale, lower down. Make sure that your fingers are widespread. Press, actively press this thumb into the ground. Keep your chin down and your gaze forward. If you have neck issues, bring your forehead down instead. Slightly relaxing the expressions in the face so that you're not stressing any part of your body. From here, inhale, lift the right leg up and insert the left foot under the thigh. So I'm gonna show you, right leg up, left foot goes under. For Ardha Shalabhasana point, the right toes up and keep your hips square to the mat if possible. Hold here five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, switch sides, left leg goes up. Right foot under the thigh. One. If you can't do it under the thigh, then place it on the lower leg. Avoid pressing on the knee. Three. Four. And five. Exhale, lower down. Keep the legs together. Inhale again, lift up into cobra. Exhale, press from cobra to down facing dog. Start drawing the Belly in and lifting the hips up, sending them back. That's very important. If we avoid doing a plank in down dog, it should feel like your body's in an inverted V shape. Now exhale, come down seated on the mat, so crossing the legs, one on top of the other. Come to Sukhasana, easy posture, any comfortable position for you. From here, we're going to grab the knees, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, drop down, round the spine. Feel an exhalation. Inhale, lift the chest. So I'm doing cat cow seated, and as I lift the chest, I'm going to arch the back, roll the shoulders behind. Exhale, round the back, and bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale again, lift. Feel that chest expansion and deflation of the chest and belly each time you breathe in and out. Feel that contrast. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, lift. Arch the back. Exhale, round. Spread out the legs now with an inhalation, reach up with the right arm and with an exhalation, bend over the left leg. Now I'll show you, turn the other way. So you can grab the foot from inside, like so, so you turn the palm in, catch the inside, catch the sole of the foot, toes lifted up, reach up with the right arm, exhale, lower down over the left leg. So lower your whole spine down. You don't have to reach the foot, you can stay here. And if you're a beginner, if you're new to this pose, you may be comfortable here and that's completely fine as long as you're feeling the stretch. Stay balanced, keep your sit bones on the ground. So stay here for a further five breaths. So one, eight in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up. Now face the left leg. You're bending from the hip crease, coming down. Wrap the arms around the legs, the leg. Now inhale, lift the chest and exhale, go deeper by bending the elbows out to the sides. Make sure there is an equidistance away from the leg so you're not pulling any more with any side that both are equally stretched out and working actively to bend down. Just a couple more breaths here, moving the heart up. Exhale and release. Come to the other side. Right hand reaches to the right foot. Inhale, reach up, left arm. Exhale, bend over the leg. Eight breaths. One, two, three, four. Give you a bit more time here so we can deepen the stretch. It feels really nice. Seven. Eight. Inhale. Gently and slowly come up. Turn to face the right foot. Exhale. Lower down. So as I said before, pull equally from both sides. So you're squaring your shoulders and the elbows. Inhale. Lift the heart. Exhale. Bend the elbows out. Coming deeper into the stretch. Five breaths, one, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Stay on your mats, cross the legs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, we're going to jump or step back to Chaturanga, low plank. Lower down, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Cross the legs and come seated on the mat. From here, Dandasana, Stark Pose. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the legs up or keep the legs straight. Five, inhale, Kasama. Strong core engagement here. One, keep the knees slightly bent if you're finding it very intense. Three, four, five. Exhale, cross the legs. Inhale, lift. Again, jump back, Chaturanga. Lower to the floor. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down facing. Cross the legs and come seated. Good. And stretch out the legs to the sides. With an inhalation, reach to either leg, both legs right and left. And as I said before, you've got to keep that equidistance from the chest. So you're not stretching one side more than the other. So bend slowly, slowly, moving that hand down the leg when you reach a comfortable stretch, you stay there. Hold here with the toes lifted up. So you go as deep as you can here. Try and relax your mind. Don't overthink. Lower down and stay there. Five breaths. rise up. Now you're going to catch the legs, so bend slightly back, bend the knees, inhale, lift the legs up and catch the big toes. Nice and steady here. You've got hold of the legs, so you've got to now just try and um, remain seated so you don't fall back. Or you can sit against the wall. Try to bring the legs in closer to your body. 
keep the upper arms engaged and the elbows slightly bent. It's a lot easier to begin with. Head back, chest lifted. That's in the final position. If you're not able to lift the head, just gaze forward. Now from here, inhale and bring the legs together. So we're joining the legs together and we stay here for another five breaths. One, two, extend through the whole back body and push Push the heels forward or up. Okay, and keep your legs nice and tight. Four. And five. Now, release the legs, cross, inhale, lift, jump or step back, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale to down facing dog. You're feeling a little tired today you don't have to jump back just step it back take it really easy today so bring the feet together and here this is a balancing position so we turn to the right side we're balancing on the left hand we're turning the body to the right side so inhale first stack the shoulder above the wrist the left arm and turn your whole body to the left side stacking the toes inhale right arm up. If you need to use the leg to support your body, put it forward or behind you, like that. If not, just keep the feet stacked. Stay here, three, four, and five. Inhale, turn back in and turn to the other side. Lift the hips. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Inhale, come into a high plank. Exhale, lower down. Upward facing, inhale. Down facing, exhale. Come back on the mat. Okay, winding down. So lay down on the back and I'll end the video in one minute so I'm just going to wind down now lay on the back bring the knees up to the chest exhale press the thighs against the belly give a nice deep massage here as you sway the legs side to side you do side to side or circles breathing the whole time releasing any remaining tension in the body. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit stressed, but I'm huffing and puffing because it's not easy to do a vinyasa and verbally guide. I feel okay. I feel quite good actually. I hope you enjoyed it as well as much as I did. Now stretch the arms out to the side, keeping the palms down. Drop the knees to the right. Inhale, lift the knees up. Drop the knees to the left. Please have a five minute Shavasana after this. Lay down in the mat. Complete stillness. Keep moving the knees side to side. For at least five minutes in Shavasana, will neutralize the spine and help you connect to your deeper mind. Very good. Slowing down those movements now. Lay down in Shavasana, legs stretched out, arms to the sides, palms turned up. Relax the knees, relax the neck. Relax every muscle in the body. Relax tightness in shoulders. Relax the toes and ankles. Relax the glutes, spine. Breathe it all out. 
Namaste.